Welcome to Forms 2024 NFL Mock Draft. What better way to get ready for this draft? It's tomorrow. I am super ecstatic about it. But let's go ahead and predict who I think, what could possibly happen. You know, this is all everyone's opinion. Anything can happen. Happens every year. The draft is absolute chaos between trades and unexpected picks, etc. Let's hop right into it. The Bears with the first overall pick. I think we know who the Bears are going to be selecting here. It's going to be Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams might come off as cocky to most people. But I love his confidence. I think the Bears are going to do pretty well with him. I think he has a high ceiling there. And, I mean, it's just going to happen. The Bears are drafting Caleb Williams. We all know that. The Commanders now. This could be interesting. I'm hearing a lot... There's so many rumors of who the commanders are going to take, whether it's Drake May or Jaden Daniels. Uh, Josh McCown is the quarterback's coach for the commanders, and he used to be Drake May's high school basketball coach back in the day. If you didn't know that, you know now. So there's a little connection there with Josh McCown and Drake May, but I do think the commanders will end up taking Jaden Daniels. That's how the rumors are circulating. So let's, for this mock draft, let's say the commanders do see do select Jaden Daniels, and they see something more in him than Drake May. Now the Pats. Here's very interesting with the Patriots. The, could the Patriots trade down to Minnesota? Minnesota is going to trade up in this draft. I'm confident. I think so. If a team is willing to listen, and the Patriots were willing to listen, I see the Pats staying at three and taking Drake May or J.J. McCarthy. I see the Pats taking Drake May. Let's say that. I'm very high on Drake May, North Carolina fan. I think Drake May has looked phenomenal, even better at North Carolina than Mitch Trubisky and Sam Howell. That leaves the Cardinals with pick number four. A lot of speculation the Cardinals could trade this pick, and they they will they very well could. I think they're going to get Kyler Murray a weapon. I think they're going to draft Marvin Harrison. Marvin Harrison will be the next Larry Fitzgerald in Arizona for a long time. So I think the Cardinals... We'll take Marvin Harrison Jr., hot take, whatever. Next up, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. You know, I could really see the Chargers trading down to Minnesota. And Minnesota giving them an 11, their 11th round pick, their 23rd, not 11th round pick, the first round 11 pick and first round 23rd pick. And maybe a future third round or first round. I don't know how much it would take to trade up, to trade up six spots. Could be a lot. Would be 11, 23rd and a first round next year be too much? Could it be too much? It's saying the trade will not be accepted, accepted, but I think two first rounds and a first round next year could be enough to move the Vikings up. I don't know if that's too much, just enough or not enough, but this is what's going to happen. We're going to make that happen. And then with that, Happening, that leaves the Vikings with pick number five. I really see the Vikings. They're going to get their quarterback of the future. They're going to be investing into a quarterback this draft. And I think they're going to take J.J. McCarthy with that. That leaves the Giants up next. I could see the Giants taking either... I don't see the Giants taking a quarterback. I really don't. I know they need one. But I think they stick with Daniel Jones. I think I can see the Giants taking Malik Neighbors or Roma Dunzi. Both would be phenomenal players. But let's say the Giants take Malik Neighbors. Let's do that. That leaves Tennessee up next. Tennessee needs offensive line help tremendously. And Joe Alt could just jump right in and be a great piece for Tennessee. So I think the Tennessee Titans will end up taking Joe Alt. And that is going to bring the Atlanta Falcons. What will the Atlanta Falcons do in the first round? The Falcons need a defensive line. They need edge help really bad. I think Latu Latu would fit perfectly on this team. Latu Latu, phenomenal edge rusher, phenomenal player. I think the Falcons will select Latu Latu. And that's going to leave us the Bears again. The Bears with another first round pick, picking ninth. And I'm about to make an insane trade. Maybe Chicago wants to give Caleb Williams another weapon. Maybe the Bears don't trade. Maybe the Bears draft Roma Dunsey right away. Progress him with Caleb Williams. Or maybe the Bears trade with San Francisco. San Francisco 
is looking to trade Brandon Ayuk. Maybe the Niners send Brandon Ayuk in a fourth round pick for the Bears first round pick this year and a third round pick in 2025. Maybe they do that. Or maybe the Niners send pick 215 or pick 211 for the Bears round five in 2025 or round six in 2025. We're going to do this. I don't know what all the Bears would have to offer. The Bears would probably have to offer more than just the ninth overall pick for Brandon Ayuk. Maybe they include a fourth round pick next year. I don't know. We're going to do this. Let's say it happens. That would be a crazy trade if it did happen. I'm all with crazy. And that gives the Niners the ninth pick overall. The Niners need offensive line help pretty bad. Maybe the Niners don't go with the receiver right now. With Kyle Shanahan's system, he could progress a wide receiver that gets drafted in the second round and work out. If the Niners do make this trade, I think they go with security. I think they bump up their offensive line. They pick Talise Fuega. Why not? Give Brock Purdy help. Give Christian McCaffrey more help. With that being said, that leaves the Jets on the board. Would the Jets take a wide receiver here? That would be pretty crazy. Would it? Would it not? I think the Jets would end up going for Brock Bowers. They need a tight end. Give Aaron Rodgers all the help they would need. And pick 11 here. The Chargers will be picking 11th since they traded with the Vikings. And Chargers, same story with the Chargers. They need wide receiver help. And what if the Chargers took Troy Faltanu? Why not? He's available. Tackles are starting to fall off the board. And well, maybe they just rely on taking a receiver and pick 23. Who knows? Next up on the clock, the Broncos. The Broncos did just trade for Zach Wilson from the Jets. Very interested. Interesting there. Maybe the Broncos are looking to trade down from 12. Maybe they're sticking with Zach Wilson. Maybe they just wanted a backup quarterback just in case they don't get one. But you got Bo Nix. You got Michael Penix Jr. available. I don't know who the Broncos would pick. Picking Bo Nix or Michael Penix at 12 would be insane. But it could happen. It's Sean Payne. It's the Broncos. They need a quarterback. Zach Wilson isn't the answer. What if Michael Penix Jr. is? I could see the Broncos taking any one of these guys. I could see him taking Bo Nix over Michael Penix Jr., honestly. All right. One of these guys is going, let's say the Broncos take Bo Nix. Vegas Raiders, cornerback has not been selected yet. And what better fit than Kenyon Mitchell? I know the Raiders need a quarterback too. And maybe the Raiders end up taking Michael Penix Jr. It could happen. They have Gardner Minshew. Maybe they ride with Gardner Minshew. And they end up taking a cornerback. The best cornerback, in my opinion, in the draft in Keenan Mitchell. That, that seems like a great pick to me. Next up are the Saints. Saints, same thing. They have Derek Carr. I don't think they'll be opting to go with a quarterback. But what if... Roma Dunsey's here. What if they take him? They could need wide receiver help. Tackles are falling off the board fast. The Saints, they could use a tackle. They need a tackle. Alumaya Fashanu's here. What if the tackles just start falling off the board now? It could happen. And just like in previous drafts, once one certain position starts getting drafted, teams will follow that role and they will draft that position. In Indianapolis, they need a cornerback pretty well. You have Cooper DeGene. I honestly think Cooper DeGene will fall in the second round. I really do. But Terry and Arnold is here. Alabama. I can see the Colts improving their secondary. Taking Terry and Arnold here. Seattle is on the clock next. The fact that Roma Dunzi is here is insane. But hey, this is my mock draft. This isn't yours. You can judge. It's alright. But Dallas Turner's here. Byron Murphy's still here. Seattle. They're known for drafting defensive players in the first round. Edge. Well, if they go with Dallas Turner. I could see the Seattle Seahawks taking Dallas Turner here. Dallas Turner is going to be a phenomenal player. And that, to me, is a really good pick. Next up is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Same thing with them. 
they need an offensive tackle, but you ha you've already had a bunch of tackles being taken. Still some good cornerbacks. You got really good defensive linemen. You got Johnny Newton, Jerzan, aka Johnny. You got Byron Murphy Murphy available. You got JC Latham available. A lot of good players available still. Another Bama defensive player. I could see the Jags taking Kool-Aid McKinstry here. And this leaves my Bengals up. I don't think, honestly, I don't think the Bengals are going to trade up for Brock Bowers or whoever. And I see a lot of mock drafts with the Bengals taking J.C. Latham. Could happen. But personally, I'd love to see them go after Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy is so good. You just lost DJ Reader. What better way to bring in Byron Murphy, start him right away, and he could progress into a superstar. I have the Bengals taking Byron Murphy here. If this actually happened and Byron Murphy was available, I'd be ecstatic. It'd be amazing. The Rams. I think the Rams are in rebuild mode right now. I know Matthew Stafford's getting old. He's about done. I don't see the Rams taking Michael Penix Jr. or a quarterback round one. I think they're going to draft the best player overall for their team need. And that's going to be J.C. Latham. Like, they're going to be shocked when they realize, when they notice the Bengals not taking J.C. Latham. And they're going to draft him themselves. And it's going to be a huge steal for them. They need a tackle. Give Matthew Stafford some more help and worry about a quarterback next year or the year after. Pittsburgh Steelers. I can see them... Taking a tackle, they need a tackle as well. And what if they go for Graham Barton? Graham Barton was cleared medically, and he's looking great to go. So I can see Pittsburgh taking Graham Barton, giving Russell Wilson some help, or Justin Fields down the road. Don't know. We'll see what happens in that situation. Dolphins. Dolphins are an interesting one. The Dolphins need offensive line help as well. Do they take one here? I think the Dolphins go outside the box here and get Johnny Newton, Jerzan Newton. They pick up a dominant interior defensive line. And they're going to be surprised when he's available here. So they're going to take best defensive line available possible here with Jerzan Newton, a.k.a. Johnny Newton. That's going to be the Dolphins pick. The Eagles on the board next. Roma Dunzi, if he's still here and these teams that don't take him, that'd be insane as well. But we're going team needs and the Eagles. Philly has an aging secondary problem. So why not bring in Nate Wiggins? Very young. Refresh the secondary. Progress him. Why not take Nate Wiggins? He's still here. I can see that happening. And the Chargers are back up at pick 23. And the Chargers, if you're LA right now, you're just shocked. You're mind blown that Rome Adunzi is still here. You just lost Mike Williams. You just lost Keenan Allen. The Chargers are going to be making moves. They might go ahead and draft a wide receiver with their fifth pick. If Marvin Harrison Jr. is not there, they might go with Malik Neighbors. Who knows? Who knows what could happen? The Chargers end up getting two first round picks. They get a starting tackle and they get a starting wide receiver. And that, that's a hell of a first round for the Chargers. If you're L.A. there, you love it. You would love this if it would happen. Dallas Cowboys. They need O-line help as well. They lost some very good pieces during the offseason. I know a lot of tackles already went off the board. I don't think Amarius Mims. I think Amarius Mims will fall just because of injuries and his short time in college. But I've seen the Cowboys interested in Tyler Guyon. What if the Cowboys take Tyler Guyon? I mean, it's possible. It's realistic. And I, I, I could see them taking Tyler Guyon over Jordan Morgan or Marius Mims. So Dallas, what well, if they pick another tackle as well? And that's going to leave up Green Bay up next. Green Bay also needs a tackle. This is, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be a lot of tackles that go in the first round. I just have a feeling. Same thing with quarterbacks. Packers just lost David Bakhtiari. What if they go Jackson Powers Johnson? They need a center. They need a guard. What if they move Jackson Powers the guard? He's played guard before. I can see that happen. I can see the Green Bay Packers taking Jackson Powers Johnson here. I really can. And that's what we're going to do with my mock draft. And pick 26, the Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Bucks are up next. 
They just brought back Mike Evans, Baker Mayfield. They just brought everyone back that was about to be a free agent. Kudos to the Tampa Bay Bucks and paying Baker Mayfield. I know Baker Mayfield isn't a top 10, potentially top 15 quarterback, maybe top 15, definitely not a top 10 quarterback. But they've seen all these teams struggling with quarterback issues, the Broncos, the Raiders, all these teams. And instead, they're going to, the Bucks brought back Baker Mayfield, insurance right there. They have a quarterback for next year. He made he took him to the playoffs. I know they didn't have a great record, but Baker Mayfield deserved that contract. Good for him. And with this pick, I could see the Bucks taking. They need an edge. They need a edge rusher. Bad Jared versus here. Jared versus here as well. I think it would be a very good pick for the Bucks, and I can see them improving their defense with that pick. Pick twenty seven. The Cardinals are picking. It used to be Houston's pick. What would the Cardinals do here? The Cardinals need a defensive lineman here desperately. Very desperately. Would the Cardinals trade down here knowing how all the good defensive linemen are gone? Or do they... They're not taking a receiver. You just took Marvin Harrison Jr. in the first round. Do you take a cornerback here? Do you take an offensive tackle here? I think the Cardinals could go in any direction. Do the Cardinals take a chance on Mary's Mims? Do they take Jordan Morgan? Do they take Kingsley Samataya? Brandon Coleman? Do they take a chance on Cooper DeJean at cornerback? That could happen. I could see the Cardinals taking Braden Fisk, but that would definitely be a reach. Maybe the Cardinals trade down from here. Maybe they trade down. Or maybe they just end up t taking Cooper DeGene. They do need a cornerback as well. What if they take Cooper DeGene? Let's say it happens. Improve their secondary. Give Buda Baker some help. Either way, defensively, the Cardinals need help. Buffalo Bills. We know who the Buffalo Bills. The Bills just got rid of rid of Stephon Diggs. Gabriel Dave. Wait, Gabe Davis. Gabriel Davis. They need a receiver. Do they take Brian Thomas Jr. here? Do they take Adonai Mitchell? Oh, Donnie Mitchell is very good. Brian Thomas Jr. as well, LSU, wide receiver university. Used to be cornerback university. Now is wide receiver university. I see the Bills taking Brian Thomas Jr. I do. That's going to leave the Lions on the clock. And Brian Thomas Jr., by the way, is going to jump in and be a playmaker off the start. That gives the Detroit Lions the pick here. Who would they go with? I can see the Detroit drafting an edge rusher as well. The lineup opposite of Aiden Hutchinson. And instead of, what if they go for Chop Robinson? I can see the Lions going for Chop Robinson. I like it. Let's do it. Line up Chop Robinson opposite of Aiden Hutchinson. And that defense is going to be dangerous. Baltimore up next. They need a tackle very bad. Maybe Baltimore is the team that takes the chance on Marius Mims. Whoever drafts him, Marius Mims has a very high stock. It's just his injuries in a short time in college. That's my worries with him. But Marius Mims fell this far. The Ravens need an O-line. They need to take that chance, and they will here, drafting a Marius Mims. The 49ers are on the clock here. This should be the Bears pick. What happened here? All right, we are back. I fixed the problem here. As you can see, pick 31 does belong to the Bears now. With that being said, <laughs> all right, now the Bears pick 31. Hear me out here. The Bears had two first-round draft picks. That's it. They don't have any other picks. They have two other picks. What if the Bears trade down again? They need a defensive lineman. As you can see, Brandon Fisk is available, but it's going to be a reach if they decide to take him. He's projected to go 44. He is the next defensive lineman up. Maybe they take Braden Fisk now. Maybe they trade down again. Maybe the Bears trade down. They only have pick 31, 75, and 122. But maybe the Bears trade with teams like the Colts, the Steelers, the Eagles, the Cowboys even, that need receiving needs. Maybe they trade with Pittsburgh. I could see them trading with Indianapolis maybe, even though Indianapolis has never been aggressive with trading in the draft before. I could be wrong here. All right, well... I could just force the trade. Maybe the Bears trade their 31st pick for the Colts 46 and 82nd, and maybe a late run down the road. I could see it happening. 
Trade not accepted. Well, we're going to make it accepted. Force trade. And the Colts are on the board at 31. And with that happening, the Colts are going to take Odone Mitchell here. They need wide receiver help. They need another wide receiver too. They'll line up across from Michael Pittman Jr. Alec Pierce isn't the guy for that, I don't believe. And it could happen. What the Bears trade down for more draft picks in this year's draft? A second, a third, a fourth? They need picks. And this way, doing that, they secure their quarterback of the future. They secured a wide receiver, Brandon Ayuk, for the future. And maybe they just didn't see anyone they were interested in, and they traded down. It could happen. It happens all the time. And the Colts, I don't know. I don't see the Colts making the trade with the Bears. But the Colts need a wide receiver bad, and it could happen. With that being said, the Kansas City Chiefs are probably devastated that the Bears just traded with the Colts. Colts jumping the gun on the Chiefs. They're probably devastated, but we know the Chiefs I the Chiefs are another team that could potentially move up. It could happen. And they're gonna take a wide receiver no matter what. But I can also see the Chiefs just sticking at 32 with how strong this receiving class is. They're gonna be good receivers down the board here. And Lad McConkey. I could see Lad McConkey going to the Chiefs. I could also see Roman Wilson going to the Chiefs. Let's just finish this up with the Chiefs taking Lad McConkey. I could see them taking Roman Wilson too. But this is going to be our draft. Pretty crazy, I know. It's crazy. But hear me out. This is my draft class. You can roast me in the comments, but this isn't out of the box. This isn't out of the world. Like This could happen. I could see it happening. I could see a lot of tackles getting taken in the first round. So in this mock draft, I have eight tackles being selected in the first round. That's a little insane. That's a little absurd. I think I had four. Or five, I had five quarterbacks being taken. Michael Penix Jr. That leaves him the drop down for round two, which is very interesting. I really do think Cooper DeGene will drop round two as well, but I didn't know who the Cardinals would pick here, so I picked. They need secondary bat as well. These trades probably won't happen. The Vikings certainly are going to move up. We'll find out tomorrow night. I am so excited for the draft. I am. It's just it's itching me. I'm a Bengals fan, not even for the Bengals pick. I'm interested to see where all these great players are going to end up. I'm excited to see how many mock drafts that we've seen are accurate and how many are just completely blown out. Mock drafts are kind of like NCAA March Madness brackets. It's going to get blown up. Teams are going to make draft picks and trades that we do not expect to happen it happens every year but that is going to be my mock draft for 2024 if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to please leave a like comment and subscribe good luck to your nfl team tomorrow night and i'll see you in the next one